happy Halloween, you guys! Hey, my little angels, and welcome back to another video. Let's see who won that Halloween item, and the winner is... Shadiver, hashtag 3297. Congrats, you can DM me on Discord or on forums. The next giveaway is going to be for a 500 cheese cone code, so good luck, you guys! Just a heads up, there are quite a few letters to go through and most of it being art. But anyways, are you guys going to be doing anything for Halloween? If so, feel free to let me know below. I love the season and just the vibes. I'm probably just going to go out and look at other people's decorated houses and stuff because that is awesome and pass out candy. But anyways, Alexa, play Dead or Alive on Spotify. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, animations. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> thank you so much, seriously. Batman or something else, lol. Shepsia now has a whole gallery of artwork over here. New items be like... Ah! <laughs> Boo! Ghost bedsheet mouse? Oh, that's so cute! Oh my gosh. <laughs> and one where my whole screen was glitched up. I came to my tribe house, but then it was still showing me a screen of... TFM event related, the doormap for some reason. And I wasn't even coming back from an, a doormap event, so... It's been buggy at times. <laughs> okay, with a knife. And okay, coming up behind another mouse. <gasps> oh my gosh. And okay, yeah, now I guess we're taking a break from that. Because, just in case you guys didn't know this, because last week when I put up the video, it wasn't in time to show the stuff. So it's the same trade as last year where you can do six of these, what do you call these, candy bags for one of these items. Honestly, I'd finish off the skulls and then the doors, or at least get pretty close. Meanwhile, collect candy bags and just use it to trade it for the brooms. It does count for your calendar. That's why I'd save it for the brooms, which is what I did. And then these are your prizes. So you have 50 skulls for the face item, 50 brooms for the orb, and 50 doors for the badge. And to get the emoji, you have to complete the advent calendar. Oh yeah, I'll also be showing you guys one of my friends, well actually two or three of my friends, three of my friends actually won the jackpot. It's not that bad to win the jackpot, honestly, these past couple years. Around 100,000 to 200, 150,000 to around 250,000-ish. If you see that many candies up on the, what do you call the jackpot number thing? I don't even know what you call that. That's around the time when people are winning for the most part. I know some people who try to hedge their bets and actually go all out on the candy only once the candies have reached that high of a number because it's closer to finding a winner by that point. Just, it's based on luck though, but yeah. So anyways, before in the past, it used to be 300,000 to 500,000 candies needed before they actually found a winner. So that's why I'm saying it's a little bit easier in these past few years. Anyways, I'll show you a video that a friend took. They were just constantly taking videos. Oh yeah, another tip, which I just found out. Actually, I kind of knew it before, but I didn't, it didn't register with me. So just to let you guys know, you need 15 mice or more in a room for the cat map to show up. You know how the cat map is a set of three maps, right? If you don't know, you can check out my previous tutorial video or wiki. It tells you everything. So anyways, back to the point. As you guys know, Defalante does not get the cat maps. It gets the first cat map, and after that, it just switches over to the normal Defalante maps. So you don't actually get to do the cat skull thing. But if you're in a room that has a less than 15 mice, the cat skull map never shows up to begin with. So it skips over that cat and, cat and the candy map, and then it goes on to the next items. So you only have to worry about brooms and doors and candy bags before getting to the mansion. So you only have five maps to finish a whole cycle. So four maps before you get to the mansion map versus the seven maps to get to the mansion map. I hope that makes sense to you. But anyways, if you don't want the cat skulls, you can just be in rooms that are less than 15. And if you want to get the mansion maps faster, you can be in these smaller rooms too and just stay there so it'll take you five maps to get the mansion versus the seven maps that usually takes because as the whole routine goes first okay you have a mansion map the next map is going to be either a cat door or broom this is assuming the rooms are 15 plus else you don't have the option of the cat the next map is going to be candy next round and the next round is going to be one of the other two that didn't come so if Let's say cat skulls came the first time. This time your option will be door or brooms. Then you have one of those coming out. Let's say that the broom came out. Next map will be candy. Then the next map for sure is going to be broom for door because the broom and cat were already done in that round. And then after that, you get a candy map and then you get a mansion map. So that's the whole cycle that's going to go with. 
So it's easy to predict. There are people who are tracking it and making spreadsheets, so you can check event chat for that. I've already mentioned this before in the prior videos, but I'm just mentioning it here again. And if you just want doors or broom, my best guess, I've not tried this out myself because I already finished it, but what you can do is just make small rooms with your friends. They're, all you need are four people in a room. Every time you make a new room, it's going to start off with the cat broom or door option, but since you have less than 15 mice, you're not going to get the cat option. So you're either going to get a broom or door. So once you do that map, just after you're done with that map, just make another room with your friends and then it's going to do that again because it's not going to be going in an order. Every time you make a new room, it's going to start off with one of these maps. So just a suggestion. I haven't tried it, but I just thought of that. So you guys can do that if you really, if you're done with skulls and you don't want them anymore and you just want brooms or doors. So you have a 50-50 chance every time the map comes around, as long as you are changing and making a new room after you finished the broom or door map. Just a thought. I think that will probably work. So that's just another tip to you guys. And then after that, you have these, let's see. And then you have this, this is a new, skin which honestly should have been a fur i'm saying this once i'm saying it again many people think this of the same thing as well it'd be awesome if you could customize it though and just change the color of the glow and make it a permanent skin permanent fur oh my gosh i would prefer this over any of the furs we've had recently oh I would, this would have been such an awesome fur honestly <laughs> and then we have the other new item which is this spider pet you can get these, by the way, from the slot machines too, just at random. This one I've usually seen with any of the black items, like if you have cannonballs or you have the bat, especially the bat icon, if you get three in a row, then you get a spider pets. But anyways, you have those which are different. They didn't release any more new letters, which thank God we already have too many letters by this point. <laughs> but I mean, we do have a lot of pets in this stuff too, but those feel a bit different. Oh my gosh, okay, back to the storyline. <laughs> Well, that took a turn. Not what you'd have expected. <laughs> Get back here. <laughs> I'm bored. It's all right. It was a lovely storyline. I enjoyed looking at that ship. And then, yeah, sometimes you bug out like this. And I somehow managed to still get one of the brooms. After that, I was like, there's no way I'm making it to the end if I can't even see what I'm bumping into. I was just trying to find, follow the mice as closely as I could to make sure I'd avoid it. But it's, it's, it's impossible, I feel, to get to the end by doing that when you can't even see anything on your screen, except for the mice. So I managed to get one though, so yay to that. So much for trying to room hop quickly. <laughs> it just it didn't load, I guess, properly. And yes, I did get the Cringe Mouse title then, which there are two new titles, right? Cringe Mouse and Abomination. So those you get from the slot machines, it is random, just saying, because I got something else, other people got something else for Cringe Mouse. A lot of people said they got it from the middle slots, but some people said they also got it from the right slot as well. So I got it from the middle slot for, I think it was three stars. Some people got it for three candies showing up, the orange ones. So those are just some things that people have thrown out there. Mine was either that, and then on the right side, right after after this one, middle one had showed up, it had showed the shaman feather, the orange with blue. Yeah, the orange and blue tail feather of shamans. That's the one that showed up as a three set as well, so it could have been that maybe for me. But anyways, what was I showing? Oh yeah, one, two, three, four. So I got lucky on this one. As you can see, my screen didn't load, so I had to just go based off of the numbers. And I got lucky and I actually got four different doors in one map. And after you play one round of the event, if you don't re-log, then the limitation goes off. Otherwise, if you come online and you play some map for the first time and you're trying to hop around or farm it, you only get two items, I believe. But if you stay on the next round of event maps, you get it, the limit goes off. So that's nice. And then you don't have to keep re-logging. And as I was, I was going to show you, but I already clicked away, but... Anyways, you get five spider pets. Sometimes you can also get a ticket from these lots. And random, and oh my gosh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm surprised though, this is actually holding up pretty well in terms of the versus event. Although the headless one is beating it out, which I'm glad. I wanna see what sort of prize the winning side's gonna get for that one. But you also have the skull skeleton, which is not far behind. So I was actually pretty surprised about that. And this is the other, other glitch, which I somehow made it till the end with just being able to see half the screen. <laughs> So, I mean, that's pretty impressive in my opinion, especially having the broom be closer to the end and over there. So I got two brooms. I Somehow I managed to make it only by seeing this. I couldn't even see any mice or anything in this half, so this was just bugged out for me from the village. So, yeah, I also did this in, by being able to see only half the screen, so... <laughs> 
that was pretty interesting but i don't know i was able to get a gist usually when i die it's if i'm up too high so it's better to be like around here and then just jump up a little bit it's easier for me to jump up higher than for me to make sure i come down in time so that's the kind of trick that i found for myself so it's worked for me most of the time unless i lag then that's a different story or if it gets bugged out like these <laughs> maps but somehow i made it and then yes let's see oh yeah someone had said oh you get stars on you get a st of stars that's how you get the title but i did not get any titles by getting that honestly if you have the capacity to just you have a lot of candies then honestly just all three slots just keep spinning all three of them because it's just a luck based thing but if you don't then just spin the first two because having the chances of two slots is better than having the chance of just one slot and both of these add up to the third slot price. This one costs one candy, this one costs two candies, and the third slot here, the right one costs three candies. So honestly, just as many as you're able to do, just go for that. <laughs> abomination title, I... Oh wait, is that how I got abomination title then? Hmm. Okay, maybe so that's what got me the abomination title. One of these two then, never mind. So one of these two slots got me the abomination title. I don't know which one of it was because I've just been spinning them all together, but that's what happened for me. So no, I, didn't, I wasn't spinning the right one because I didn't have enough candy at this point for me to last the whole round and be able to spin. So I was like, okay, let me just go with these two. And that's how I got the Abomination title. Some people, it's, it's all luck based, so it's really annoying. Some people got it pretty quickly. Some people are taking a really long time to get it. So good luck to you guys. And last week, I also mentioned it in the description box below because I didn't check it out in time before I posted the video. But there is a new emoji that's in shop. So if you have a shop item that you need to buy for your quest and you don't have any more things to buy, like me, then this is going to be coming in handy. So yeah, we have another emoji, which I, I don't see when I would use this emoji, honestly. If anyone knows what expression that's supposed to be, do let me know below because I have no idea when you would use that one. But anyways, that's a new emoji that's come out. Have a nice day to you too. And I like the handwriting. It's really nice, AJ. Oh my gosh, that is some lovely artwork. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? <laughs> Bats? Oh my goodness. Fairy pets. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then I was like, I was asking if people had these, I can trade for them. And then some friends were just like, you know, I have extras, I'll give it to you. So I'm like, oh, thank you so much. So I just collected 80 of those and I just like to hoard stuff. So it's sitting in my alt, all looking nice and pretty. And I love these skins so much. Oh my goodness. And I cleared out my main inventory alt, I'm my main inventory and put it all on my alt. So my main inventory is all clean. I love that. <laughs> but oh my gosh, look at that. <sighs> thank you, thank you though so much seriously thank you so much for that hi oh my gosh that is a very fancy looking spider <laughs> rip boo hey tears <laughs> panda for halloween you i am yeah i'm gonna be busy studying so <laughs> not much there i'm just gonna go look around walk around look at houses but that's pretty much it <laughs> happy halloween to you too and here are the what do you call it credits for I, i'm not even reading this anyways here are the credits for all this. So you have who made the consumable fur, the badge ideas, the pumpkin skull mask, spider pets, bye bye. <laughs> but anyways, the people who made these, they did get some phrase value out of it, I believe. Since these are event prizes, they can't just give it to the person who made them. Boo ghost emoji, which is this thing right there. And then black cat sham orb. Let's see. And then we have today's new items, which are silly Halloween sham themed items, which I know a lot of people really like the ball. I think that's pretty cool. And this is pretty cute too. Look at that expression. I love that. That's so cute. <laughs> but the cape, oh my gosh. I'm not a fan of it at all. There were so, so, so many better options for capes to pick from. <laughs> Why pick this one? But anyways, as you can see, because it cuts into the face, it just seems like it's been slapped on top of the rat instead of actually making it blend in. Which I know it's because it's from Von Drake Mouse. Speaking of which, the plushie, you can still buy it. There's still time for it to get funded. They only need like 15 more, 13 or 12 more plushies left for people to buy for it to be fully funded, I believe. It's been extended a bit. I don't, till November the 1st or 2nd, I believe. But anyways, go get your plushie. You haven't already. That's probably why they released it. Just to add a little bit like, hey, don't forget to get the plushie. But yeah, honestly, on its own... It just looks like it's slapped on top of the rat and it's sticking out like that. Ugh, not a fan. I think that that's what's putting me off the most. It's like so thin and flat <laughs> compared to the other detailed neck items we've had. But I, this is the thing that's bugging me out so much. It doesn't sit well on it. <laughs> uh, but anyways, there we go. That's your banner like of that. And 
on to the rest of the vi video. And just as I get on Meeks, oh my gosh. Ah, oh, okay, you can't see it, but it's supposed to be this small, cute little ball, which I actually like that ball. That's pretty goofy. <laughs> I got you your own little pet roach from the colony. It's bottled and confined for your entertainment. Roach meeks. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> this ball item. And okay. Oop. Penguin. Happy Halloween to you too. <laughs> Oop, I need to copy that name so I can respond. Okay, and as... Oh, okay, I guess someone must have gifted me things. But yeah, as you can see, my inventory is pretty clean. So I like that. <laughs> Okay, I've just I've screen recorded this stuff just to show you guys for all of these advent calendar things because I'm not making a separate video on this because I already have a tutorial video out so it doesn't make sense to make another one. Oh, I did tell you guys a bunch of tips on here. But anyways, so as you can see for this one right there, you need to wear any sort of costume 10 times. All you need is either a color or a fur. That way you can finish up real quick. You get 20 tickets, by the way, for completing each of these. And at the end, you'll get the emoji. So as you can see, it starts at zero, then I go on, I wear the skin thing, then take it off, then I wear it again, then I put it on. As you can see, it's going off and on. So that's how you do that. But if you wear a color, the thing is you have to take it off and put it on, and then you can do it. Instead of doing it, take it off, put it on, take, put it on, then put it on. Instead of just doing it once, you have to click it twice if it's a color. But apart from that, it works just the same. It works pretty fast. So as you can see, I had, I don't even check. Oh, I still had to do, oh, okay. That was, the last, that was the last one. So once I put that one on, as you can see, I lifted up the tickets. So I got 20 tickets from doing that. Cats are always the easiest to get because in event chat, you can see people saying, oh, cat's gonna come up next. So after you do whatever room you're in, honestly, if you get a cat room, just jump over to a different room and do the other ones first and then come back and then do the cat. Cause by the time you finish the other maps, this cat one will still be there, unless it's a ma mansion map, because you have the slots too. You don't have to be present on the mansion map to be able to spend the slots. Like the slots, you can come later on, you could go do the cat map and then go back to the slot room and then still be able to spin. You just won't be pre visible in the room, that's all. But you can still spin and get stuff. That's another point. But anyways, as you can see, boom, there we go. We got the 20 tickets, 50 skulls are done, and there we go. That's how that one went. Last but not least, I finished, I guess I could have finished it in a day, but then I just like went to sleep and I just finished up in the morning because I just needed the managed map. And the timing was pretty cool because it was only 13 minutes. I think it was 11 to 13 minutes that people have been getting. So that's awesome. That's helping speed it up. So over here, let's see. I'm just going to move that down. Okay. So as you can see, I've already showed you those and I already just clicked and got that one already. So let's see, I had left 45, 46. By this time I already had candy bags. And so I just traded the candy bags in so I didn't have to wait for the other maps to get those. Of course, I need to make space for the tickets because once I get it, I'm going to get 20 plus 20 tickets for the 50 doors and 50 brooms. So I needed to make space for that. I just started getting it till I reached 50. So once I reach 50, boom, there you get 20 tickets over here. As you can see, 50 out of 50. Then I do the same for the doors until I hit 50. Boom. <laughs> Then I got 20 tickets again. And as soon as I got that done, as you can see, I got the emoji. Sometimes if you press your C or E, whatever you do to show the emojis, it won't show up at first. It'll take a few to load, or sometimes you have to relog for it to actually show up. So don't wor worry about that. That should be fine. So as you can see, it didn't show up for me at first, but I think next round it showed up for me or something like that. So it wasn't that big of a deal. Then I bought the last stuff that I needed. Boom, there we go. And I finished the event. Of course, with the two titles I mentioned you to you, those probably took the longest because I wasn't focusing on those at first, but there we go. Oh yeah, um, so I'll just probably go and do the other maps. And then when someone mentioned there was like a mansion somewhere, then I'd hop over and then just do the slots whenever I saw and had time. So that's how I got the title in between and I didn't have to dedicate extra separate time to do those as well. Anyways, let's see the stuff. As you can see, Pretty close, pretty close, but this has always been coming out a little bit ahead, which actually is surprising me that they're so close together. Anyways, here are new stuff. Where is it? Okay, 800 for that thing. 800 for this little thing. Seriously, that is an outrageous price. It, not worth it at all. Like, it just it just looks like a thin, small piece of thing. <laughs> it, doesn't, uh, it's, it doesn't look that great on here. No, the pricing, not worth it at all for the price. <laughs> but you have, you have these cute planks. At least you can make it up with that. So these are so cute. Oh my gosh. Now you have wordings on these. I think that's the first time I've ever seen any words on items here. 
on like the sham stuff. And then you have this small ball, which is so cute. I love the silly little items. That is so fun. And then we have for Day of the Dead, we have these items. Honestly, this is really useful, especially since now it doesn't go on top of the head items. That is the most useful thing in all of these things. That is also pretty decently useful. The rest, I mean, it's up to you. If you're interested, you go for it. But this is honestly the best thing that's been released in this set. And then we have our spirits versus skeletons, right? Spirit versus skeleton. I think that's what these are. Okay, so I really love it. This gives off really cool vibes for a spirit. The colors go so well together. And this part, of it just goes so well together, like very well put together. Anyways, you have collector, collector. I remember someone asking for this fur to be brought back. I'm not sure if someone had said if it would be brought back in terms of Fashion Squad outfits. But anyways, there it is. Permanent, permanent. Permanent, permanent. I would have to check what that one is. That's a permanent. I don't know, is that a collector, I think? But let me double check because I'm not positive about it. Okay, we have a lot of things here. Yeah, okay, that one is a collector then. As you can see, there is a bunch of permanent stuff on that one. So if you do want to make it cheaper to buy and you have the cheese for it, you can definitely buy the stuff for cheese and then these price pricing will go down for you guys. So there's that. And then we have... Wait, is it tattoo? Yeah, the tattoo, tattoos are permanent. Oh yeah, on the banner it said collector, but it was actually a permanent. Okay, let's see. Where's the other one? Other look. All right, so you have collector, collector. Collector, collector. Collector, collector. All these are collectors. Nice, nice. The colors go pretty well together, so there you go. Those are your outfits. Now we shall see customizations. Okay, let's look at these cute little planks. Oh my gosh, okay. Whoop. Ah, yes, we got ombre effect. Boo! Then you have this background. Then you have the eyes and mouth, and then you have the blush, and then you have the main part, and then you have the back part of it. So cute, so cute. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> the expressions. Ah, oh, so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, all right. So you have the boo, you have the bubbles, and then you have the eyes, the, that, and then you have the front part and the back part. All right. Then we have our ball. Oh, that is weird. Okay, anyways, ignoring that. Let's see, how does this work? Oh, okay. So you have the bottle cap, you have that, and then you have the rat. <laughs> then you have the ears and that. Oh, I'm surprised they didn't change, let like, the eye color be changed or anything else. I guess because your normal rat doesn't either, but there you go. Those are your different ones. And then we have our, I think we have, okay, the badges and stuff isn't gonna really work right now because some stuff has to be, oh, the orbs work though. So do you have that? I think I showed that before too. What else? Everything else I think I've pretty much shown last week. Yep. Oh gosh, I still need to make outfits with these four furs and that. I really wish this was a fur, honestly. <sighs> Anyways, let's see. Where is the stuff that... Oh yeah, this neck item. Why? Why is it 800 as well? The pricing, oh my gosh. Anyways, wait, let's see. Because if you... This happens on everything, but I feel like... Let's see. Yeah, that, that happens no matter what it is. Anyways, let's go back to standard thing. Let's see, neck item. All right, so it probably has hidden customizations with that. Okay, let's see. So you have that one. You have this part of it, that part of it, that. Then you have... Oh, okay. The outline, the very thin outline right there. <laughs> that outline, that line. And then we have this back part. Those checkers, that checker, that checker, and that checker. So you have one pattern that's checkered, the other pattern that's not. So if you do customize it, I'm guessing this thing, this is going to be either, either this will be solid or this will be solid because both the patterns don't mix together. Mm. Anyways, let's see. Okay, covers that part up. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know what to think of this. Let's see, where's the one that hangs down low? Okay, it goes on top of that. That's what I just wanted to check. Let's see, eyes. Yeah, this neck item is going to go over these eyes, which uh, I get it. I mean, if it's a vampire thing, I get it because you have like the collar upturn thing. But ah, uh, that is annoying me so much. <laughs> okay, that thing at least can use it to hide this front part. Neck where you have that. Tail is your tail. Hair. Yep, okay, good. It at least works properly there. Mm, what else? Okay, the fur. I think it was based off the fur, right? Where's the fur? I want to compare it with that. 
Okay, it's this one right there. <laughs> kind of different, as you can see that. Neck, let's go default. <laughs> Take that off. Yeah, it digs into it as well. So they read it a little bit, but still just, ah, uh, this, uh, that, that annoys me so much. Anyways, <laughs> enough of that. I've talked your guys' ear off for long enough, giving you tips and all that. This is probably a kind of long video, but anyways, hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye, you guys. Keep it all. As always. Peace.